Now let's talk about null safe operator, which is another feature added to PHP 8. What is it and how does it work? Let's see an example. Here we have two classes, a person and a home. And there is a possible relationship between a person and a home. So a person can have a home, but by default it's null. Right now, let's see what we used to do and what we can do with null self operator. Right now, if I wanted to get the address of a home of a person, I should have done something like this new person. First, let's create a new person. Then if I write echo person home address, let's see what we'll get php8 index.php it's telling me that i am trying to get address on a null so home is null and i cannot get address from that before null safe operator we could write something like this if person home is not null then continue and try to get the address and if i run that code if home is null, I'm not going to get any error. What can we do now to avoid all of these ifs? It's easy. Let me take that echo back. All we have to do right now in PHP 8 with this null safe operator is to add a question mark and it tries to evaluate the left side if the left side is not null, it's going to continue to check for the right side. So let's see, when I run the code again, I'm not going to get any error. What if my person was also null? Let's see, right now I'm getting the same error, I'm getting home on a null. So the great thing about null safe operator is that we can use it like chaining them. So I'm checking if person is not null, go check the home. If home is not null, get the address. And again, I'm not going to get any error. If I bring the person back again, I'm not going to get any error. This is very beautiful, but be careful. It is only for reading data, for getting the values. You, you cannot set new values. So for example, I cannot write something like this. I cannot say, okay, if home and person are not alone, change the address to there. It's impossible. It's just for reading data. So be careful and go practice, use it in different scenarios, use it with different objects, see where it works, see where it doesn't, find the limitation and see where you can refactor your code to make it more readable and shorter. That's it for today. Let's continue with our course.